Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. Charlie wanted to say hi. Waffles. Yes, hi. <laughs> what are you doing, big man? The big guy. Yeah. Good boy. So everyone just finished eating and everyone's heading out to the pasture so I figured I'd take a walk with them and shoot a video since today it's actually, well it's windy as usual but it's about 70 degrees today so it's beautiful outside so thought I'd shoot a video and make a big announcement that I've been waiting to, well I've been waiting to do but just haven't had time to shoot a video. The donkey was very unexpected who is now a month old and she's running out to the pasture. I don't know if you can see her, but she's already a month old. I can't believe how fast time flies. That's Miley. But the baby donkey's a month old already. It's so crazy how, how fast time flies, but this story is actually about a new addition to our farm again. <laughs> Uh, this time I was not looking on Craigslist, I was not looking on Facebook or kill pens or anything like that. Our farrier Kimmy reached out to me and asked me um, if we might be interested in taking on another draft horse because a client of hers had a draft horse who was completely healthy, uh, goes to the same vet we go to and just had a checkup, uh, was healthy, has great feet because she takes care of them, and just looking for uh, a retirement home for her. So of course, I was reluctant to ask Corey because after we got Anna, he told me, no more horses. <laughs> So I asked Corey, I said, Kimmy has a client that's looking to rehome a draft horse. And uh, he asked where it was, of course, first off, because he didn't want to have to drive across the country again. Uh, so when I told him it was local here in Amarillo, he wasn't actually as reluctant as I thought he was going to be. So I contacted the owner and Corey and I drove out and took a look at her and met her. And Corey and I decided on the drive back that we were going to go ahead and uh, add her to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. So this is Paisley. Paisley, can you say hi? Uh, okay, no, no, we're not gonna say hi. <laughs> but she's 23 years old and she was just looking for a retirement home and she found it here on our farm. She was originally rescued from uh, either a kill pen or an Amish farm. I'm not entirely sure which one, but she was a rescue of some kind uh, back four years ago and she's lived on a tiny farm here in Amarillo and she was just kind of a, a pasture pal and uh, the owner, the person that had her before, uh, she <laughs> Hi. was a pet for uh, their granddaughter and their granddaughter rode her all the time and then Paisley decided that she was done with rides and was no longer giving rides or anything like that so she doesn't have any health concerns she doesn't have arthritis she's in really good condition we did have her teeth done since she's been here on the farm so I'll have a video on that as well but she just needed a new retirement home and she found that here at Fletcher Farms. So since she was healthy, we didn't have to uh, quarantine her for a long period of time. So she stayed in a run for probably about a day and a half or so. And then we turned her out with the rest of the horses and she did really well. She stayed with Anna. Her and Anna are actually friends. Yeah, are you friends with Anna? Yeah. And she did, she did really good. And she's, like I said, she hangs around with Anna and she's starting to become a little bit more friendly with um, Sophie and Miley. But she just kind of does her own thing and hangs out. I've never seen a draft horse with curly hair. I don't know if you can see this, but she has curly hair. <laughs> and I think it's just the cutest thing ever. Yeah, you're just so sweet. Yes, you're so sweet. Yes, you are. I swear she's Cammie's twin. Her and Cammie look so much alike. I know, is Cammie your twin? I know, is she your twin? Yeah. This is a side-by-side -side picture. Cammie's on the left and Paisley's on the right. You can see how much they look alike. And it's really hard to tell them apart when they're out in the pasture. Yeah. Uh-oh, here comes Charlie. I don't know if you guys are friends. Are you and Charlie friends? Here comes the waffles. I don't know if they're friends. I kind of think they are. 
She didn't kick him, so that's a good thing. <laughs> you coming in the pasture, Charlie? Yeah. Charlie asked if we can get a gelding next time because he's really tired of all these women. <laughs> no more mares, right? Yeah, you need some bros? Yeah. You can go boy, bud. But this is Paisley, and she's our newest rescue. Actually, she wasn't really a rescue. She was adopted. She had a home. She just needed a, a new one. Yeah, you want to go walk? I know, you're so sweet. She's so sweet. She's just like the other horses. She just walks right up to you and wants to be petted and loved on. But these are some video clips of Paisley when we first got her and her just relaxing and enjoying her environment and learning her new environment. So these are some of the videos from her from her first couple days here on the farm and kind of the, some of the stuff that she's been up to ever since. This was the picture of Paisley that our farrier Kimmy had sent me. This was the picture that made me fall in love with her. These are a few pictures I had taken when we went out to visit her for the first time. This was her at her other home before we got her back to our farm. This was when we got her back to the farm. This was her trailer ride and her getting off the trailer for the first time. She wasn't really trailered before the other person that had her kind of had the vet come out to the farm and take care of her that way. Um, they didn't have a trailer, so she really hasn't been in a trailer, so she was a little, a little unsure about getting off the trailer and getting on the trailer, but she did really well. We got her into the barn so she could decompress and kind of just get to know her surroundings and the other horses could check her out as well. So this was her when we got her into her run and got her hay and Alpha Pro for the first time. We got her blanket off of her since it was a little bit warm that day we picked her up and we got her here and brushed and this was her after she was brushed and all pretty. She was very curious about the other horses. She's like, hey, you guys look like me. After everyone finished dinner that night, I let her out into the paddock area. We had this zigzaggy fence over here that you can see to the right uh, where she could go out here and walk around and still have contact with the other horses. They were actually out in the pasture area, so she was just checking them out and looking at her surroundings and seeing what was going on. So this was really cute. This is my favorite part of getting any horses, watching them enjoy their new surroundings and figure out where they're at. Since adding an eighth horse and having now four donkeys since the baby was born right around the time that we got Paisley, we did take the zigzaggy fence down and we did turn those into pens for us to feed them in. Since we are out of room in our barn, we did need to come up with something else until we could get something else built in this area. After a few minutes in the paddocked area, she was so excited to be out here. She started trotting around and was just so excited to be here.
Since Paisley was coming from a farm and not from a kill pen, we didn't have to quarantine her for two weeks like you would normally do with the other draft horses that come from kill pens. So we turned her out with the rest of the horses, and this was her interacting with Aline. And Aline is the alpha mare, so we were a little concerned about what was going to happen here. Um, but this was a super sweet moment, and Aline was really gentle with her, and she was really gentle with Aline. And the reason that you quarantine the horses for two weeks after getting them from a kill pen is to make sure that they're not sick. You usually want to do that for a minimum of two weeks, if not longer. But since we knew where Paisley was coming from, we were, it was safe to turn her out with the rest of the horses right away. She does go to the same vet, MVP, and she was just there for a checkup not too long ago. So we knew that she was healthy and that she wasn't going to be bringing anything back to our farm. After meeting Lean and doing some sniffing around the paddock area, we decided to get comfortable and roll around. I'm so glad that I caught her first time rolling. When horses roll around like this, this is the way that they de-stress. And when they stand up and shake it off, that means that they're relaxed and comfortable in their surroundings. The next day, I had fed everybody breakfast and came back out to check on everyone and Paisley was out laying in the pasture area and didn't know quite what was going on, but finally realized that she was just out there relaxing and enjoying the sun, so I went out there and sat with her as well. Paisley is just the sweetest girl. We sat out in the pasture probably for a good 20 minutes, so I snapped a couple pictures and a couple other videos. But this was her just laying out in the sun, enjoying it, and enjoying her new surroundings, and this just warmed my heart and made me so happy that she was relaxed and comfortable here on the farm. These are the pens that I was talking about that we set up for the horses to feed them in. Obviously with eight horses, when food comes out, it gets a little crazy around here. So we needed something to separate everyone for dinner time. So we built these pens and she's just so smart. She walks right into her pen whenever it's time for dinner and she knows where to go. I finally caught a picture of Paisley and Cami. Paisley's on the left and Cami's on the right. It's just so amazing to me how much they look alike. This was another night after dinner. Everyone else had gone out to the pasture and she was just standing at the gate watching what I was doing. I was filling up the breakfast buckets and she wanted to see what was going on. So of course I had to stop what I was doing and I went over and petted on her and loved on her. After breakfast, all the horses do get hay, and this was Anna and Paisley eating hay together. They were very sweet, and sometimes Anna just doesn't like to share her food, so this is actually a sweet moment that I caught between the two of them. And you'll see here in a second why I said that Anna can be a brat when it comes to her hay. I did finally catch a picture of all eight horses together during the sunset, so I thought I'd share this one with you because this is one of my favorite pictures. 
and just a couple other pictures of Paisley because she's just so darn cute. Are you gonna fall asleep? <laughs> I know, it's so sleepy because it's so nice outside today. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. We had a busy weekend too this weekend. Uh, we had our vendor show at Hugo's on the Square here in Canyon, Texas. It was so much fun. We met so many different people and thank you everyone that came out and bought soap and came and saw us and all the online sales of our soap. We appreciate your support. It's really awesome to finally be getting this product out. We've been working on it since uh, about November. So finally getting it out and actually getting orders out and uh, hearing what people think about the soap is very exciting to us. So this was some of what happened this weekend at our vendor show. So this is Hugo's on the Square in Canyon, Texas. They do weddings and events in this venue space, and they also put on these vendor shows. So there's one in February, March, and April. We are going to attend the March and April shows as well. But this was our booth with everything set up, and it was just such a fun time to meet everybody, and I was so excited to see all our soap together. And this was just a little sneak peek of what we did this weekend. If you are interested in purchasing our goat milk soap, it is made fresh here in small batches on our farm. We milk our goat Misha twice a day and we create all of our products from her milk. We have expanded our goat milk line as well. We've added bath bombs, which are made with dehydrated goat milk straight from Misha. Those are now available on our website along with our sugar scrubs, which are made from organic cane sugar and avocado oil with therapeutic grade essential oils. So if you haven't checked out any of our products, head on over to our website at FletcherFarmsAmarillo.com and check out everything that we have available. But Paisley is the newest addition to Fletcher Farms Amarillo and we're so glad to have her here. She is a sweetheart. So we'll have more updates on her and she's obviously following me <laughs> but we'll have more updates on her in the weeks to come and how she's doing but we have lots of things going on around here so make sure you stay stay tuned and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything that's happening around here because we've got lots going on and can't wait to share it with y'all so stay tuned for more updates but thank you again so much for watching and thank you to everyone that's purchased goat milk soap. We truly appreciate your support. And also thank you to everyone that sent us gifts of Alpha Pro through HF and C. We truly appreciate that support as well. We couldn't be doing this all without you. So again, thank you so much for all of your support and thank you for watching our videos and supporting us that way and still working through all the comments from the last couple videos. So it's been a little crazy around here and uh, obviously with a new horse and a new donkey and everything going on it's kind of why <laughs> it's taken so long but uh thank you again for all of your support we truly appreciate it and we'll see you soon thanks <laughs>